Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folio. Today we are going to be playing as Arachna here, a character that somehow I haven't played as in this series yet, despite having a thumbnail for. So I think it's about time. For those of you that haven't seen Arachna before, she's a pretty interesting character. I played her on the modlock. Essentially, she starts with these webbed hearts and she's got this spool as our uh, pocket active. We can throw the spool at enemies, kill them on the web, and it'll slow them, as well as having our default poison tears as well, and create these little web sacks that will then spew out a bunch of colourful spiders. Um, that all have various different effects. This, this character is quite complicated, but also quite powerful. Um, we do have these web hearts as well, which increase the amount of spiders we get from each web sack. So we want to try and keep them as much as we possibly can, but it's not always plausible. We'll see. Um, we'll use that straight away. Um, ooh, this is a potentially very good room here. Um, so we got doubles the number of held bombs. All bombs are converted into copper bombs. So let's just... Oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. I thought it'd give us two bombs. Um, invokes D7. Lose all your coins and spawn a proportional number of pickups. Um, okay, so I think we go out here first and find a good place to use. I think this is a good place to use it. That creates a crawl space at least. We get Contagion here. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to do this room. Oh, so I've got to, like, jump over him. That's kind of interesting. Okay, we got Contagion. That wasn't too bad. Fairly easy room there to get through. One second. Okay, we're back. Um, Yeah, that, that was decent. Contagion's a good item to get early on as well. Uh, especially, actually, with the ability to slow everything down and group enemies. Not only does grouping en enemies benefit us greatly, but Contagion on a web is going to lead to a lot of extra spiders. Also, Gemini here is pretty decent. We did have access to a crawl space in there as well, but... We don't need that. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day today, what is something that you thought you were good at? That, you, that Or a subject that you thought you knew a lot about that you were proved wrong on? Because that's kind of an interesting thing, really. Because it's one of those things where it's like, you kind of feel a little bit, like, I wouldn't say sad, but a little bit disappointed that you maybe didn't know much about a topic that, as you thought you did, or you thought you were better on a topic than you actually are. But at the same time, you're kind of grateful because you you thought you had a big, like, a good knowledge of something, but then it turns out there's a whole lot more you don't know, so there's a lot more to learn about it. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword, really. Okay, little books. Again, the spider webs don't actually slow down the boss at all, which is a little bit of a shame. We can still poison the boss, though, with our sort of default poison tears. Can't web that guy. And wire coat hanger is decent here. We'll go down to the downpour here. Um, we have you fellas. But yeah, Contagion, I feel like, is going to be absolutely fantastic for us. I feel like we're going to get a hell of a lot of use out of that. I realise there's a lot of cards in that last floor that I didn't end up using, but honestly... They were kind of doo-doo anyways. The, the only one that I should have probably used is the death card. The um, the golden death card. That would have been kind of useful. But otherwise, I wasn't too interested. Yeah, like Contagion is going to kill all of those enemies. And turn them all into web sacks. Like, that's fantastic. Contagion might be one of the greatest items as this character that I can think of. We're going to get so many more spiders from it in... Um, in chocker block rooms. Obviously, it's not going to be a, an advantage in every single room. I'm not going to purposely try to, like, make it work sort of thing. But in rooms where I can make it work, I will. It's also very nice. This character starts off with a little bit of extra speed. I think Secret Room is below there. I, I, I'm pretty sure. But I don't want to take the gamble right now with only one bomb. Ooh, there is explosions in the middle of this room. Careful of that. Didn't notice that for a second. Little Spewer isn't really my style. Eh, that's not much better, I'll be honest. It's decent, because we can get the Brimstone's Curse going on. But, eh, all in all, I won't use it that much, and, and I know I won't. That is almost certainly the secret room. Even with one bomb, I, ha I have to go for it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, wh what, what do we get here? Justice... And we got, activates the meat cleaver effect, splitting all into the room to two, grants piercing, oh, that's just a, a consumable. This is the bit that we really want. 
Are you kidding me? It's that stayed over there. I'm gonna go grab it for the heart for the heart. And then we can take the secret room disc effect. Echo not very good there. Okay. Let's go though. That wasn't great. But, ooh, we got the Kakomancer. What's that little, little pink, purpley bit he has? Oh god, I'm seeing the amount of this room that is covered, and I mean covered, in um, in gas. There's going to be some explosions going on. Although this guy's pretty weak, actually. He's dying very quickly. Not great hits for me. Oh, is he not dead? So there's the teeniest, tiniest bit of health left. Really cool boss. And his death animation is, is something. My god, it's something. We did get a webbed heart and a growth hormones out of that though, so that's pretty nice. And yeah, we've got um, the dice shard for... I'm, a, I'm thinking angel deal. To be honest, yeah, I think, I think I'm thinking angel deal. But stuff like this is where Contagion's really going to pop off. Kind of hard to not get hit here. I only got one webbing out of that, though, which is surprising. Didn't even realize there was a button there. Okay, this, these, these things, I'm pretty sure they don't die until the room's dead. So don't focus on the, on that dude. Free trials expired. That's fine. Bit of extra money there. Tia, can you get out of the way, please? Jelly Belly, or Belly Jelly even. Really good. We missed out on Tiny Turma there, I think, but Belly Jelly, for one, we look like a fat spider now, which I think is pretty awesome. But mainly, the main thing here is that we just, um, we just got a really, really good defensive ability. I don't really know how I'm meant to get to that. Oh, there's buttons here. Did not see them. That would have saved us some time if I'd have seen that. I do like rooms like that, though, where they've got, like, hidden buttons and, like, little alternate ways of completing them and stuff. Good. Give me that key. G -g 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 Give me that key. Uh, this room's not over, which scares me. Why is it not over? Okay, that was a bit worrying what we got there. I love these little rain makers. So cute. He's nicely sat over the top of that. Didn't create webbing, though. Damn you. Okay. We've not got a great amount of spiders for our boss. You kind of want enough to just insta-kill whatever boss you end up getting. But it is Wormwood. Which, honestly, Wormwood isn't a great one for us. Because we don't have any bombs. I think Wormwood is a, is a really, really great boss to get if you have a lot of bombs. But otherwise, he's kind of a bit so-so. Luckily, we didn't get a, a version of the room, though, where we can, like, cut off either side. This is probably one of the better versions of the of the fight room. Okay, we're about one shot of killing him, pretty much. There you go. Mr. Dolly's fantastic here. Oh, that is, that is tragic. I mean, Mr. Dolly still gives us a good amount of stuff, but... That, that is pretty tragic. Um... Do we want to try? Nah, I was I was gonna maybe go for a um, go for a, a boss fight, but there's too many rooms between me and the boss right now. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Hey, we got enough keys for this though. And ooh, what's what's this? Using a card uh, with a number will grant a fading damage up the scales with that number. Interesting. Also, Silky Penny speaks to me a bit, but I really like the idea of um, of this, because there's obviously a lot of cards with numbers. Oh god, that enemy scares me. This enemy right here is, is worrisome, and you can see why. That boy got herming. I'm surprised Contagion didn't do much there. I was expecting it to hit all of those guys, but I'm guessing... That fly that was making them invincible or whatnot was uh, causing issues. Oh, hello. There is a, a maze of folk down here. This is where Contagion should pop off. I'm getting hit a lot here, though. I've uh, unfortunately lost all of my web hearts at this point. 
Oh my god, I've never seen that enemy do that before. I still absolutely love the look of these dudes. I've not even seen one of them fly, I'll be honest. New behavior for me to see. Oh my god. Okay, having this many spiders while damage-wise is pretty good. The game does not like it. Oh my lord, I'm taking some fat hits right now. Okay, this, this guy's possessing enemies. Oh god, that's creep. Why did I not think that was creep? What's wrong with me? We do have a, a planetarium challenge room here. Without any bombs, though, I, I'm not feeling... Uh, I'm, I'm going to do it. With, with this amount of spiders, I'm just going to do it. Because I think it'll just die pretty quick. And Capricorn, for one, we look like an absolute cutie. But I think Capricorn is pretty good. Yeah, with this amount of spiders, we're doing really good damage here. I still don't think it's perfect. Also, did Capricorn give us a bomb? Does Capricorn give you, like, one of every consumable? Did I, did I not know that? The spiders didn't do anywhere near as much as I was hoping they would, I'll be honest. I thought they'd kill it. This is the attack that, that, that scares me. There's really not much you can do about the troll bombs here. You just gotta hope they don't come your way. Luckily, we, we, we got past it, but... Okay, we just about killed him. There you go. That wasn't too bad for Capricorn. He got through it just fine. We keep moving on. Okay, these fellas got their hidden faces. I love them, but scary. I need to be a little, a little more strategical with Contagion, I think. It's like, I don't want to play it every single time where I have to get Contagion to proc. But that was a situation in that room where if I had just waited an extra second, it definitely would have worked. Oh, these are little healing dudes, aren't they? I always forget about these guys. Really cool. Oh, they throw bombs as well. Interesting. Didn't do too much to us, but... These guys give us soul heart? They do. Fantastic. And unfortunately, we've been every which way but the item room here, which is always the case in this game. My god, our character. Look how chonky. Just absolutely chonky we are. It's 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 quite something. I respect the hell out of it. I really do. Oh dude, what what are you? You're new. I, I still just can't, I can't fathom the fact that we're still finding new enemies constantly. Fiend Folio is just such a wild ride. Oh, uh, also, I just want to quickly talk about it. Um, even though for you guys it'll have been days ago and you're probably all well past it and have forgotten. I apologize for the uh, the Dad's Home Plus video. I, I released it because I thought it was funny. I, I managed to win my, my Dad's Home Plus run on the, sec on the second run. So I thought releasing it as a five minute video just saying like, hey, look. Look what I did. I thought it'd be funny, but ev no one likes it. <laughs> Everyone, like it got it got lower views than my other videos, which is surprising for a Dead Zone Plus um, video. And like everyone in the comments was like, where the fuck's my Isaac episode? I'm sorry. I just thought it'd be funny, okay? Um, I'd like to get that. Maybe we can grab it here. There's also a golden pill here, which is tempting. Kind of worked out in a way. Telebombs. I mean, we do need bombs. I'm not a massive fan of telebombs. I think it's good once you have a lot of bombs, but as default, it's it's a little awkward. We can get we can get that golden pill now. I think we should get that golden pill. I could have rerolled telebombs, but I like I said, I did need the bombs, so I don't mind it. Spider unboxing. Okay, amnesia. I feel stompy. So far, nothing good. Okay, nothing good. We didn't get... That, that was pretty worthless. I mean, we got some spider unboxings, but considering we're a character that generates spiders basically as of default, not exactly the, uh, not exactly the thing we're looking for. Now I've just got to remember my way to my boss, which is, I think, over here and then down? Like across into the big room and then down? No. Up. Right, then down. Is that right? It is! Huzzah! Bombed myself there, which is great. I will take that. And then... Oh, yes. Definitely be re-rolling that. Eh. Another pretty bad item, I'll be honest. Um, but hey her. Spawns a conf confessional at the start of every floor. It's kind of good, but as a character that can only use soul hearts, it's pretty worthless. 
I probably wouldn't make it quality two personally. It feels more like a quality one sort of thing. Also, we really need to be using uh, cards with, with numbers on them, like, as soon as we can. Because that scaling damage, or whatever it was called, it could be really good. And we, we're kind of missing out on it right now. Hey, we just managed to make both the hands into spiders there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about getting spiders on, the, on a room like this, because it's just awkward. Is that a... That's a half... That's a half red heart, not a half soul heart. Okay. Oh my god, lots of reflecteds. Don't need so many of them right now. Dang depths is one of the one of the flaws that in Fiend Foley I find particularly quite hard. It's just got a lot of varieties to the room, so it means a lot more enemies to remember. That's fantastic. Not only is that a revive as uh, greed if we die, but also this guy is a decent familiar that can generate coins. All round a very, very good item. I like it a lot. Ooh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm, I'm happy I didn't. Um, what the hell? Oh, we got a top hat here. We can summon a shop. We don't need to do that right now. We don't have enough money to buy anything. Buy any items, at least. Um, I don't think anything there really does much for us. Yes, yes, and yes. God damn it, Telebombs, they got me again. Oh, God. <laughs> Gabe's scaring the hell out of me. Spawn four keys worth of pickups on use. What the hell is four keys worth of pickups? Just spawns four keys. Uh, I'm guessing it means it could spawn a double, but that's still a weird phrasing. Anyways, I spawn one of you. Hey, Flyboy, the visual for it is still broken. Damn. They told me they fixed this. I guess not. This thing's still really glitchy. The visual for it makes your eyes look just, for one, look completely wrong, but also glitch the hell out. But it's a really good item, so I, I always want to take it. It's an Ipecac thing. The, the devs t said they fixed it. I guess they just didn't push the fix. That's, that's one thing that I'd, I'd like some clarity on um, in if, if any developers are watching. Because I, I I feel like it sounds like I'm complaining, but I genuinely don't actually know the answer to this. Is there a reason why when you fix something small, you don't just push that change on its own? Like, so for example, if you're working on a big update, but you find something like this that's broken, someone brings it up to you and then you fix it, is there a reason why you wait until the big update to release that fix and not just release a tiny patch that fixes that one thing? Is is there a specific reason? Because I genuinely don't know if there's a reasoning for doing one versus the other. Because it, seem, it seems to me that it would be beneficial to the players to just release that, that bug fix as a small patch and then continue working on the bigger things. Um, and, like, anything that isn't, like, content, you release as soon as it's available. And anything content-wise, you wait until you've got, uh, like, a good amount of it. Um, I don't know. It, it, like, it's something I'd like clarity on, because... In a lot of the mods that I play, I, I, I find that tends to happen a lot, where developers are reluctant to, um... It's kind of an interesting room. So I think, I think the idea is we use the Yera to get all the things that are behind the pedestals. I realize that might be a bit of a waste of a Yera, but it might not always be a Yera, I suppose. But I think it, by the looks of the way it's laid out, I think it is. Um, but yeah, like, like for, in modding, I, I swear, like, not all, but a good amount of mod developers fa seem fairly reluctant to just release a fix. And instead, they want to wait until the larger update is finished and then release a fix. Which, okay, one, one second. Get a powerful fe fetal demon familiar that aggressively charges the enemy, slightly dragging the player along with it. The card has a chance to break when the player takes damage, allowing it to move freely. That sounds really cool. Ooh, hello. 
Um, yeah, I gotta say, personally, to me, it just makes more sense to release the fix because it's something that's broken and it'd be good to fix it. Like, obviously, this one's, like, really minor, but especially, like, if you, if you have fixed it behind the scenes, it seems weird to sit on a fix rather than just releasing that fix as is. Is it because it's, like, entangled with the update and you can't release one without the other sort of thing? I, like I said, I don't, I don't really know, and it'd be, it'd be, it'd be really cool if some developers out there could sort of give me some better understanding of that. Because I don't want to, I, I don't want to say it like I'm just saying, oh, the developers won't, won't fix this. Oh, the developers are lazy. I, I'm not trying to say that. I don't want to be saying that. Uh, Belly Jelly saving me twice there. Uh, I don't want to be saying that. But I, like at the same time, I feel like it's hard not to when you don't really know the reasonings behind the ways some development goes down. I'm sure some other people out there are in a similar situation. And we, I guess we can take this. We gotta like gain. We gotta use it just after getting a kill. And we gain a damage up. Damn it! That only lasts a room. It's kind of a weird one, really. But it's pretty good, though. Like, even when it's bad, it's pretty good. We'll try and find the shop here. I'm liking my little fella. He doesn't seem to be dragging me around as much as I assumed he would. I thought the little demon boy would uh, would really be knocking me all over the place. I thought... It's saying uh, he would drag me along with him would mean that, like, I'd be, like, getting skated around all the rooms... At least a good, a good amount. But honestly, the amount of drag that he imply that he uh, puts on us doesn't seem to be all that bad. We get a decent damage up after the first kill. We really should be trying to keep that going. Where's the shop at? There we go. Finally. Took a while. This floor is hella laggy, by the way. I'm not sure why. I don't. I, it feels like ever since I picked up Flyboy, something's not going well. I'm going to check my console and see what's going on. Um... Some, there's, there's one error in there, but everything else looks fine. There's just a bunch of fives printed in there. Um, Tends collectibles into random pickups. Fortune. Um, uh, I keep getting... I don't know what it is with that card. I, and I realize the D7 effect is kind of useful, but god damn... Right now, it's just showing up all the time. It just won't leave me alone. I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to remove Flyboy. It's, it's lagging my game like crazy. And it's really, really visually distracting. Like, I'd li I was literally losing like 10 FPS from just that one item. Okay, I can feel him dragging me a little bit there. I probably should just use my bombs here with the teleporting effects. The teleporty bombs are pretty useful for that. You just gotta make sure you're quite far away from the teleport thing. There you go. That worked out really, really, really nicely. We'll take this. Um, we can go to boss rush as well if we'd like. Eternal seal could be pretty good here. And we got a good amount of stuff out of that. Let's just check what we got in here. Dice bag's really good. The the rocket model rocket's pretty interesting. I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try out a boss rush, just because. For one, I like the rocket shots and I want to keep them. But for two, I might be able to get a pretty decent scaling damage bonus. And actually get up to like a pretty reasonable amount of damage. Because that damage right now isn't that great, but I think 
Once we start getting this scaling up, I wish I could kill that damn horsey thing. Damn it, I lost the damage. I was too I, I was too lazy with it. Where are you? Where the hell are you? What the hell? Where? <laughs> I just circled the room. Where is he? Oh, you're up here. Hello. That damage up. Anything that spawns anything is good for us. Because we can get more damage ups out of that. God damn, this guy is actually dragging me around a lot. <laughs> I think once we get to like 7 or 8 damage, then we stop. This. Oh my god, I'm really bad at timing this. The timing window does get shorter each time, so it's understandable, but still. I, I kind of need to get hit to get this guy off of me, because this little ghosty dude is a pain in my ass right now. Do I have to destroy all these burns? Because if I do this, I pain in the ass. We're not doing terrible damage, though. I'll say that. We got this dude. Oh my god, that's a lot of fire. It's a seven. I'm going to go one small. Try it one small, and after that, I'm stopping. Okay. It released him. Damn it. That window is insanely small. Okay. Get up to 7.19. We know we can get there, then stop. So otherwise, we're just going to keep losing it. I need to kill this thing, because this thing will give us a bonus here. There you go, there's a bonus. Oh damn it, I just wanted to place a bomb for him to eat. Why'd you gotta teleport me around? God damn it. Honestly, my, my little demon's doing a good job all on his own. Okay, we're up to 719. We don't go for any more damage ups now. The window is too small. I think the further away we are, the better damage we do. Oh, hello, bloat. I should just, just dodge out the way of you. I was trying to get the uh, put burn pile dude to pop up right in front of the beam, but it didn't quite work out. Sometimes you can trick the enemies into getting in the way of the beams. Oh, you're dead. Okay, so this, this, this demon dude must be doing a lot, because I didn't even shoot uh, bloat then. Just did that on his own. And we got this nice fella underground somewhere the stain. There he is. Let's let, let's let my demon just take care of this dude and see how he does. Yeah, he's he's absolutely destroying. Compared to Gemini's damage, that's pretty good. Obviously, he has the downside of needing to get hit before he's, like, not a nuisance. But, eh. Some of the tainted items, they, they've done a really good job at being very, very creative with them. And uh, giving them their own identity. Some of them, I, I have to say, are a little lackluster or, like, for some reason, significantly weaker than their base counterpart. Which I find odd. But for the most part, they're, they're, they've done a pretty good job. Oh, that is... That was special. That was absolutely precious. You did it again for me, thanks. Ooh, we got Split Loki. Split Loki's got some new attack patterns that are pretty uh, interesting. When they get close to each other, they start working in tandem. As you can see, they're jumping in tandem as well. Now he's on his own, uh, kind of turns back into normal. Ooh, hello, Soul Heart. Decent. I could probably go for another classes here, but I'm a bit scared. The window's so small that I don't know if I can. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's all I'm doing, though. That's all I'm doing. It's 
too scary. I don't know where the horse head is. It's somewhere. We've got to be on the last few waves now, although we've not seen either of the angels yet. I know they come in a random order, but always when I when I've like realised that I haven't seen either of the angels, I'm like, I'm nowhere near done, am I? It's hard to tell, because we've been going through this fairly methodically and slowly, but at the same time, we've been killing waves pretty quickly. Like, as much as I've been kind of taking my time and making sure I don't get hit as much, I really have been killing each wave with significant speed. Okay, this guy, I don't really know. Okay, this guy's the guy that drives around. But a lot of the Fiend Folio bosses, like, spew out a significant amount more tears than any of the other bosses. Okay, he's... Released from his car. I don't know if we need to destroy his car or not. I think we do, otherwise he gets back on it. That's another thing as well that I've noticed. A lot of their bosses, or, and I wouldn't say a lot, but a, a decent amount of their bosses have this just a, effect of spewing a thousand flames, which is cool and all, but god damn does it absolutely decimate your FPS. Like, you literally lose about 20 FPS whenever those things are attacking. I, I really, I really wish that, that somehow, one day, someone invents some sort of cure-all for Isaac's lag. Because it is, it is literally the only thing holding it back from greatness. I absolutely love Isaac modding with just a, a, a huge amount of passion. I mean, you guys know. But, Lord, I'm playing it at 38 FPS right now. And it's just like, I... I if this was at 60, I'd, I'd be in absolute glee. It takes the episodes, like... It means the episodes are like twice as long for you guys, which I guess is a good thing. But goddamn, it's so painful to play sometimes. Like, I don't really mind it in situations like this. Oh, it's a pretty crappy item to get. But just in general, it's, it's really depressing. And there doesn't seem to be any single mod out there that does much to alleviate. The only one that I've found is Fogless, which even then it doesn't do much. I'm using it right now and it really doesn't do much at all. There was some mods in... Um, in Aftermath Plus that reduced lag. I don't know whatever happened to any of them. I know I know at least one of them is uh, like, it doesn't work anymore. But like, a few of them that reduced some visual effects and stuff, it'd be nice to see some of them come out of, um, come out of repentance modding, which we haven't really seen yet. I mean, I have to say, I don't I don't actually know how, how well they'd even work. There's, there's probably a good reason why none of them have been created in a year because there probably isn't a significant need for them because they wouldn't actually do much to help. But it is still sad. Because, like, I I could reduce my lag right now, I like, for sure, by um, removing Repentance Plus and Ipecac, but I don't want to. They're such good mods. Like, it is, it is annoying that, especially with content mods specifically, it does feel like you are limited to, like, 20 or so mods, otherwise your game just starts going to shit. It's upsetting. And like, there is a, there is a, a lag tester mod, but from what I've seen, it doesn't, it's not, it's not really easy to read at all. And apparently it causes significant lag itself, which makes it impossible to tell where the lag's actually coming from, so it's, it's basically worthless. It's a sad affair. Should be using my spool more. I kind of forgot I was a Rachner because my character looks exactly nothing like a Rachner anymore. Oh, damn. Wrong way. Contagion seems to still be doing a very good job. I'll say that. Seems to still be absolutely demolishing things. I always find as well... One thing for me is that uh, modded characters, such as Arachna, seem to have a way worse time with FPS in general. If I'm playing as, like, Isaac or, like... To be fair, any of the non-tainted characters seem to do fine, but once you get onto the tainted characters and modded characters, the game just shits itself really hard. It's just depressing. But it's, it's weird, though, because I see these people that play with these absolutely insane mod setups where they're literally using like hundreds of mods and I'm like like 
E either you have the best PC on the planet and it's somehow handling this, or you are playing the game at like 20 FPS all the time. And I, I, I'm not sure if it's that people just don't care or that they're willing to play through it for the content. I'm really not sure what it is. I see a lot of people with these insane mod setups and I, I just never get it. I'm like, how are you okay with playing the game like this? If my game drops below like 50 FPS, I'm like, ew. <laughs> this is difficult for me. <laughs> it's why I'm constantly tweaking and messing with my mod setup to try and get something that's, um... Try and get something that's, like, a little more acceptable. Like, I've, I've basically probably cycled through about 300 mods in this series. Like, I'd love to just have all of them on at once, but... It ain't happening. But so many people had asked for Ipecac back. And to be honest, I, I was missing it. But I really wanted to add it back in. I could try Ipecac without Repentance Plus, but one without the other just feels kind of hollow. It doesn't feel like the true experience. I feel like if I'm going to have Ipecac on, I need to have Repentance Plus too. Because they just both add so much good content. That yeah, it's just, it's just hard to, to see one without the other. Also, these enemies. These enemies. Oh boy, these enemies can absolutely go die. Okay. Okay, I just had to bomb that guy. That, that, that boss is super annoying. Get some speed, which is decent, but I still think we need some damage. Our damage still isn't very good. Still doesn't have too much going for it. Ooh, hello. These things, these things are weird. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I took a lot of damage then. Alright, yeah, because I need to use my webs more, but I'm finding it difficult to find the right places to use them. Honestly, the model rockets are really throwing me off. They're really cool, but I keep getting close to enemies and taking a lot of damage and then realizing, like, yeah, that's probably why, because getting close to enemies is a really bad way to play this character. What on the earth is that? Like a wrapped up toddler. Oh god. The fucking demon keeps pulling me around. It's problematic. Ooh, a stack. That's that's really cool. I love that enemy. That's really interesting. Thank you, Eternal Seal, for saving my life. Honestly, Contagion, I think Fiend Folio plus Contagion is just a very solid combo. There's just so many rooms that have like a lot of enemies or enemies that spawn or enemies or what that are just like big groupings that we can take advantage of. Seems to be pretty commonplace. I like it. Where, where the hell are we going? I've, I've got no mapping and I'm completely lost. Whoa, that guy's looking freaky. And he teleports too. Certified freaky boy. Go, demon. We've got more of these dudes. A lot of the uh, the hanging little heart fellas. They do some wiggly wiggly shots. Oh, God. One second. Let's keep it going. Okay, I think these guys, yeah, these ones are the ones that you can, like, hit around. I think you can hit them into other enemies as well. It's pretty funny. I just want to place the bombs so they can eat them. Blink bombs, whatever you're called. Go away. Where? Okay, door to the next room's there. I was going to say, where's the door to the next room? Because if there isn't one, I'm leaving. Ooh, a card. 
See, the damage up is so good from that thing. We haven't got any cards that work with it yet. Sad. It's like the first one we've gotten. That I've remembered to see at least. There might be more. I'll be honest, I don't know. Right. Boss time. Oh, God. My little demon buddy is dragging me all over the place. Okay. See how this ends up going. I just... I wanted to place a bomb and then push it. This thing's fucking annoying. <laughs> Not a fan of this item. Alexa baby's pretty nice here. Up we go. Almost went down the void port by accident. <sighs> Gotta love the cathedral music. I will say that's one thing. At least the cathedral music here is here to hype me up. I just got pulled into a shot by that thing from my little... Dude, this is... This is a tough room. Lots of homing shots. Two of these guys. Don't like that. Oh, honestly... I say it every time, and I will for eternity. This music fucking slaps. It's so good. I, d I don't know what it is about the, the cathedral one specifically, but god damn, I love it. What is going on with this little circle of friends? Empty heart container there. Wait, what? Like, did I just pick up a heart that gave me an extra life? That's dumb. Repentance plus, what are you doing, boy? Is that the Enigma heart? I think it is, isn't it? In my opinion, that's a silly dilly, but you do you, I guess. Taken down. And you, sir. And you. Little diamond enemies spew out their little eyeball after. Not doing too great on health right now. I'm hoping Eternal Seal will help us out. And give us some soul hearts on the way here. We did get you. Honestly, adding you with that enemy is scary as all hell. Dude. These bombs. I just want to bomb this guy normally like a normal human. I didn't want to actually teleport. Give me a damn item. Give me a fucking soul heart. God damn it. I mean, soul heart's useful, but I lost a soul heart fighting him. What an angel item. I swear, like, out of all the times I've fought him, pretty much every time he's given me a soul heart, when it's like a 50% chance for him to give a soul heart or an angel item. Looks like we're going down, boys. But we, we do have two respawns available here. We have one with the Enigma heart by the looks of it. Oh my god, look at this guy. Um, and then we have one with the Keeper. We're going down, boys. We're going down. Isaac fight music is also pretty, pretty banging. I'm going to have to focus up real hard here to try and beat this boy. My uh, my demon pulling me towards him isn't going to help. I'd like to release him, but I literally don't have the health to do that. Damn. Okay. We come back as us again. Okay, this is an instant revive. Damn it. Okay, and then we come back. We come back as the key, but it restarts the fight. I, I would guess that we're probably dead here. We do have a coin available in the room. 
but yeah, I, I, I would say we're probably dead here. I can barely keep track of what's hitting me, I'll be honest. And I'm at one heart. I think the Isaac fight has bested us. and Indeed it has. Either way, a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.